Fellas, fellas, fellas. It's a beautiful day outside. The birds are chirping. I can hear them. It's amazing, but I am not outside. I'm inside because I like being inside because I'm afraid of the world. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, I found a really cool Vim plugin and I just wanted to show you guys. That's all. <laughs> just want to show you. Now, this is a plugin in NeoVim called oil.nvim. It is a Vim vinegar-like file explorer that lets you edit your file system like a normal NeoVim buffer. Now this is amazing right here, normal NeoVim buffer. What it allows you to do is jump into your current directory in a buffer in NeoVim and edit your files as if they are buffers. Now, let me just, let me just talk to you a little bit about this. So I love Vim Vinegar. It's just one of my preferred ways of moving around my file system while I'm within Vim. Vim Vinegar allows you to jump into the current directory that you are in, and it opens up, I believe it's NetRW as a file system or as a directory explorer thing. And what it allows you to do is navigate the structure from the current directory that you're in. Now, for me, this is very helpful in uh, Ruby on Rails apps where you have a lot of controllers or a lot of views or a lot of something, and you just wanna add a new controller or a new view, but it's under the same namespace. So it's easy to just pop into that directory, add a new uh, controller or maybe navigate to a different controller that you were looking at. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I love it. There's a good feedback loop and I think it's really cool. But oil.nvim seems amazing. Let me show you. Now this is a NeoVim uh, plugin, so you install it just like anything else. I'm using Lazy because I'm a cool neckbeard and that's what cool neckbeards do. They use lazy.nvim. If you're on Packer, I don't even wanna talk to you. Don't look at me. Don't, you know what, just close this video. Just close it. Anyway, if you're cool like me and you use Lazy, this is how you install it. <clears throat> so you copy and paste, you want to, um, it's basically some more stuff, right? Like this is a GitHub repo, there's some ops, there's an empty table in Lua, and then a dependencies, which is NVim web dev icons. I don't need web dev icons because I already have it. So I think I'm just gonna copy this and hop into my NeoVim configuration. So my NeoVim configuration is already all set. I have a plugins.lua file here. And somewhere in here, I can just pop in my, well, we have an extra quote here. I can just pop in this GitHub repo. And then when I quit and reload NeoVim, okay, there we go. Uh, then everything gets installed and now we have oil.nvim installed. Pretty cool. So I want to add a uh, key binding so that oil.nvim, uh, I use it similar to how Vim Vinegar works. Now Vim Vinegar typically uses the dash to open up your current directory. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. And they have already, I mean, this, this whole thing's based on Vim Vinegar. So it already has everything set up for you here. And it kind of already says like, hey, if you're using Vim Vinegar, if you're coming from Vinegar, use the dash, this is your key binding like set it up like this. So what I'm gonna do is go back into my plugin config. I'm gonna add a new config called oil config.lua, right? Sure. Oil config, I'm gonna place that in here. It's really just a key map, but it's, this is a pattern I use, so I like it. In our init.lua, we wanna make sure we require our core plugin config oil config because the init.lua is something that gets required in our init.lua right here and that makes sure that everything in this directory gets required in our total setup so if we quit and reopen NeoVim, and then I'm running Tmux, and in my other session of Tmux here, or my other window of Tmux rather, I have a Rails project. So this is how I like to use Vim Vinegar and now oil.nvim, right? So let's say I have uh, some controllers. I'm in the homes controller. I wanna add another controller within this namespace, within this directory. I hit dash. Oh my God. I don't think I am doing the setup yet. Okay, first we gotta set this up. Lua, core. Plugin config, oil config.lua, require oil.setup. Now, does this work? Okay, now it works. All right, so now let's say we're looking at a controller and we want to add a new controller in this directory. We can type dash and that opens up the current directory. So now I'm in this directory and I can navigate from here. I can go into admin, I can go into concerns. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other stuff I can do in here. You can type dash again to get back. But let's just say I wanna add another controller here, right? So I wanna add, uh, let's say a blogs controller. 
you just hit the O because it's like a normal buffer. So I hit O, I type blogs controller, I write that file, and it asks me if I want to create this new file. I can hit OK, and now it's created. But let's say I want to rename it. Well, how would I rename this? It's a normal buffer, so you just do change to underscore and say poops controller, right? Write that. You want to change the file from blogs to poops? Great. Go to the poops controller, yada, 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 you're all good. Now, this is like one of my favorite things to use. It's part of my workflow every single day. This is kind of how I use Vim. I like to be within a directory. I like to bounce into different files within directories or like sort of search files like in the directories that are adjacent to what I'm in. And that's just kind of how I use Vim. So for me, this is an awesome setup. I think is really cool. Oil.nvim is sick. So please check it out. And uh, see you later, I guess. I don't know. See ya.